Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with a book review. Um, this book I think you guys are going to be pretty excited about. It is the Great British Zombie book. So it goes alongside the series that is starting next week in the UK. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are really looking forward to it starting. I know I am. It'll be really nice to have a focus each week. We can all sit down and watch it together because let's be honest, where else are we going to be? <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought it might be nice for you to see inside the book and see what you get with it. Um, Cause I know sometimes with sewing books, it's hard to know what you actually properly get. So, right, let's start with the packaging actually. So the book comes um, with this sort of um, chunky cardboard kind of cover. It's almost like a box um, and the patterns sit behind it. And then the book is in there as well. So I thought what might be good in terms of storage is um, the patterns you have to trace off so you can then keep all the kind of original patterns in this box with your traced off patterns as well. So it might be nice you can have this sitting alongside the book on your shelf and you know all your patterns are in there. So I thought that was quite a, like a handy thing to have as an extra. And it's very sort of proper kind of chunky cardboard. Um, so yeah. So that comes with it. So the patterns, um, right, there are 12 patterns included in um, at the back of the book. There are 27 projects in total and this includes the 12 patterns and there are variations on some of the patterns as well. So in terms of the um, patterns, they come at the back, they're folded, they're on A0 sheets, they've got the sort of sewing, the branding, um, most of them it's just one pattern per sheet and each um, pattern piece is done in different colours so that you it's easier to trace off. Um, a couple of them have um, two patterns on a page but really I mean actually very easy to trace off and not too sort of overwhelming. Um, the paper quality is I would say it's a kind of standard printer quality maybe slightly lighter so like 75 GSM I would say or you know 80 um, and the sizing so of the 12 patterns two of them are men's and the men's sizing is 34 to 44 the women's patterns of which there are 10 comes in sizes 8 to 22 sorry I had it written down here because otherwise I knew that I would forget um, yeah so those those are the patterns they come folded in your little box and then the book is here. So the book is written by Alexandra Bruce and Caroline Ackleson who are the founders of Selkie Patterns. Um, I'm sure you guys have known and come across them but they're definitely worth checking out. Their, their kind of core thing is sustainability and hence the title of the book which is Sustainable Style. Um, so I think I'll just show you kind of inside. There is at the beginning of it there is a foreword from Esme and Patrick and then the book sort of starts in a kind of classic um, sewing book format. So, right, um, at the beginning of the book, there is um, a sort of introduction with a selection of the patterns that are included. Um, it then goes on to sort of talk you through how to use the book, how to use the pattern um, within the book and all the kind of what all the markings mean. So it's very sort of thorough and hand holdy. So I think this would be good if you, for a beginner, um, you know, cause there's lots of kind of good information. Then you go into all the sewing equipment that you need. Um, it takes a sort of similar format to quite a lot of sewing books. You have the bit at the beginning where it sort of kind of talks you through things. There's a selection about pattern matching, finishing seams, um, a bit about insert, you know, how to insert a zip as well. So there's quite a lot of good sort of stuff at the front. Um, then there's also a section on fitting, um, fabrics, all that sort of good stuff. So there's lots of kind of good things at the front, even things like trouser adjustments, um, which actually was really good. I had a good read of that and I found that very, very useful. Um, so that's at the front and then it gets started on the uh, patterns so the actual project patterns are included so let's start with the first one it's the pussy bow blouse um, so this is how the first page is laid out 
you see the picture of it, you've got the line drawing, um, then it goes into all of the, um, you get your kind of, the second page has got all of the, the um, sizing charts, the lay plans, all that sort of kind of good, important stuff. And then um, it goes on to teaching you how to make it. So there are step-by-step -step instructions. You can see here, they've got really nice um, illustrations, which have been done on a computer. Um, I thought they were kind of quite clear actually, and kind of give you a good sort of sense of how it gets going. And, and so then it, it sort of runs in that format. So you get the um, sort of instructions and this is the next one. So the second pattern is the sleep set. And again, it's the same format as before with the line drawing. And then you go into um, how it's made. So a couple of the patterns, this one in particular has a variation. So they should, it's laid out that you get the kind of um, instructions and then they have at the end of it a variation so this is a romper variation on the sleep set and it shows you how um, to make that as well so th that's sort of the kind of core layout um, and each each pattern that does have variation is uh, it's kind of after the kind of core pattern instructions um, there are some really nice projects in here actually so um, this is the next one the midi um, midi wrap skirt i mean that's a fairly kind of you know quite a basic pattern but you know one that's not kind of to be sniffed at and quite you know useful to have in your wardrobe um this is a good one um of a sort of project so this is a denim um apron and it shows you how to do it using um an old pair of jeans um so you don't get a pattern for this but it kind of talks you through how to do it um so there's quite a lot of good stuff in here um, the next one we've got is a summer dress. Um, I thought this was really nice. Um, it's got this kind of sheared panel in the middle. Um, the photos are, are really nice as well uh, for all of the in the book. I, I like it's of a kind of very kind of clean layout. Um, yeah, so and then there's a variation of that which is a blouse um, and it shows you again how to make that. So it, it's got kind of good stuff. I think my, let me find, so my f there's this one which I thought um let me should I show you the men's ones let, let me show you the men's ones the men's ones are quite I thought were quite funny um mainly the pictures so check out this hug um so these are a pair of flared trousers he looks like he's very happy in his flared trousers doesn't he um they're a kind of basic flare the, with the classic five pocket you can see there from the line drawing there's a variation if you don't want a flared trouser to make them straight um but yeah i thought he was he was quite he he made me chuckle quite a lot um the other men's one is um let me see if i can find it i do have it here we go it's a linen jacket um, which I think actually is really nice it's almost in between it's in between a sort of workwear jacket and a tailored jacket I thought that was a really nice um, pattern my favorite personal favorite of them um, has to be this jumpsuit which is amazing um, let me show you so it's definitely there's definitely a few of these kicking about in the indie sewing pattern world but a, a kind of nod to a I guess almost like a boiler suit um, it's really really beautiful I love it um, I also like that this particular one is photographed on someone a little bit more curvy which um, you know she's got proper hips which I think is always nice to see and it makes me think that maybe I could actually make this and it would look all right um, the variation on this one I actually adore let me show you it it is a short version and I thought that looks so nice for summer I love the idea I'd never thought of like cropping the shorts off and yeah I thought that was really great but yeah there's lots of good stuff in this actually it's a kind of um yeah the, it, it's it's got some really nice patterns in it it's nicely laid out it's got some good sort of stuff um this one is quite good as well let me have a show you this one the halter neck dress um i think that is really 
nice a kind of Marilyn Monroe vibe to it um, it'll be interesting to see if these are similar to some of the projects that we'll see on the TV series it's hard to know you know at this point what we're going to be getting um, the other thing that was really great this other sorry I'm just showing you all of them now um, the bomber jacket which was one of my favorites and this is a unisex one um, I thought this was really great and I love the big pockets on it I think it looks amazing perfect spring jacket um, and then let me show you they've got actually a picture of both wearing it so you can see that it's men of yours but yeah the, the layout of this book is really nice it's very easy to follow it's quite um makes you feel like you're in safe hands and there's really the instructions are actually very thorough you know this jacket um the bomber jacket for example has got 27 steps in it to make it so you're definitely not on your own with these this book you're really kind of having your ha hand held um then at the back of the book there's this really nice little section about mending darning and patching so the idea of sustainability and like looking after your clothes showing you how to do that properly and um and then other kind of nice little things so it it is a really good book actually i was not i wasn't really sure what to expect because it's a hard thing when you're not getting you kind of get it before the TV show, which I always think is a bit weird that they do, they release it before it even starts. But um, I think it's a good book. The other thing that's quite nice is at the back, they've got kind of pictures of the show and all the contestants and then also on the back of the book as well. So it's quite funny seeing this before you know who wins or who, you know, we haven't met any of these people yet. So I'm, um, yeah, it's definitely a nice thing to start the week. I feel like I'm kind of looking forward now to it, to it actually starting. But yes, I would definitely recommend this book. Actually, it's a kind of a kind of quietly good book, and I don't. Do you know what I mean? It just it's it's kind of proper. I th I'm going to go for it's kind of yeah, and um, it feels like nice quality as well. It's yeah, it's kind of good quality, and also just. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but the um, the pages are matte, which I am very pro. I'm not a big fan of the gloss inside, so yeah, the, all the paper is matte. Um, but yeah, I think that's a goodie. If you're f feeling like you need to treat yourself, and I think at the moment, I'm sure you are, I definitely am. I feel like little treats now and again are really kind of keeping me going. So this could be a nice little self-gift or a gift to a friend if you've got a friend who needs a bit of a pep-me-up. Um, anyway, talking of sewing bee, we're definitely going to be doing videos alongside it like we usually do. So if you love watching it, um, we usually do videos where we find patterns that were featured in the show or try and find similar ones, definitely not. Sometimes we can find the exact ones, but otherwise we will find something very similar. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys are all really looking forward to watching it too. Um, that is it from me. Um, I hope you've had a nice week and you're feeling all right. I know stuff is weird at the moment isn't it um it feels very unknown and very unsettling so i hope you're doing all right it's and the other thing i wanted to say is i know a lot of people there's a load of people who are just like charging through sewing projects and loving it and there's a lot of people who just can't concentrate and that is okay too because i'm in that boat i just yeah sewing is not not the moment for sewing for me. I just can't con can't kind of settle to anything. So that is all right too. Um, yes. Well, we'll be back soon with another video, and um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye.